What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent physics and greatness. And uh, actually, man, today is Thursday. Not sure when this video will come out, but today is Thursday. And uh, it's my rest day. And I'm on my way to see my dentist, man. Hey, man. You gotta take care of your teeth, guys. You know, believe it or not, you gotta take care of your teeth. It makes no sense to be all ripped up and defined and your teeth are all yellow and you got cavities and shit. That shit ain't what's up, man. But fuck all that. This ain't the hygiene channel. This ain't a fucking body building channel. Uh, been getting a lot of questions about cardio. I don't know why I'm getting all these diet questions. It's technically still uh, bulking season. Now, you know, I guess... You got people all around the world, you know, trying to get lean. Everybody has their own personal goals, you know. And we're all working together to uh, achieve those goals, right? Well, the question was, can too much cardio uh, make you lose your muscle gains, man? And that's a good question, man. I'm going to have to say yes and no. You know, I'm going to have to say yes and no on this one, okay? You got to keep in mind, guys, you got to keep in mind that cardio, for bodybuilding purposes, I'm not talking about for, for playing sports and all that shit, I'm talking strictly for bodybuilding purposes, cardio is technically just to ensure, just to ensure you reach a calorie deficit. You know, you don't want to reach, now this is for somebody who's fairly lean, I'm not talking about somebody who's overweight. The rules are slightly different for somebody who's overweight. But if you're fairly lean, which is about 13% body fat and under, you want to keep your weight loss pretty slow. You want to keep it at about a pound or two a week, man. You don't want to really lose too much more than that because you can potentially lose more muscle than you bargained for if you lose more weight than that. So with that said, you want to hit about a 500 calorie to a 1,000 calorie deficit a day. So with that said, let's say for an example, right, um, with my diet alone, with my diet alone, I hit about a 300 calorie deficit a day. So, you know, I do about uh, 400 calories three times a week to kind of ensure that I hit about a 500 calorie deficit a day, right? Or you can do the math, maybe even 300 calories four times a week. You get the point. The point I'm trying to make is I'm trying to keep my deficit at about 500 calories to 1,000 calorie deficit a day. But let's say you're somebody who just goes to the gym and hits about an hour of cardio five times a week and you are on a, on a pretty strict diet. You could potentially be well over a 1,000 calorie deficit a day and that would probably uh, make you lose three pounds or more a week, which could in the long run make you lose more muscle than you bargained for. You get what I'm saying? So yes, car too much cardio could make you lose muscle. However, people misuse the term. They make it sound like there's a certain number that can make you lose uh, muscle. It's not a certain number. It varies from person to person. It all depends on your metabolism, your body type, and how many calories you're getting in. Let's not forget, it's calories in versus calories out. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you're doing a fuckload of cardio, but you're getting a fuckload of calories, these rules do not apply to you. So just keep that in mind, guys. That's why it's really... It's a real good idea if you're just starting out on your diet, start low with the cardio. Don't just say, okay guys, I'm on a fucking diet, I'm gonna go ahead and do cardio every fucking day. No, 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 no. Start with a number, um, stick with your diet, weigh yourself and see what happens, and approach the numbers accordingly. That's the best way to go about this shit. But like I said guys, if you're overweight, over 13% body fat even, these rules slightly uh, different for you. For me, an example, I'm losing about three pounds a week. I'm still pretty fat, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm getting pretty lean now, as you see, my face is getting slimmer, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, uh, I'm about to uh, get back to what I'm doing. Don't forget to like my shit. I hope this shit helped you out. Comment, subscribe, holla back at you.